Okay, another video. I want to do a uh, demo here of the um, 22 gauge wire. Now I have the uh, laminated core back on here. This gives a better output. I have them divided also. It's not in the PMH style. I have them divided, which reduces the attraction to the magnets of the core. Um, but this is the 22 gauge wire have it uh, going through the rectifier into this cap bank again. And the ammeter is on here. We can look at that first like we did in the other video. So we have that hooked up. Um, there's the voltage it's giving right now with the 22 gauge wire. 39 volts about. Now it's not engaged, it's not shorted. Right? Showing the voltage. Okay. And the wheel here is. Oops, correctly. 387. This is where it's been. I've been letting it settle. 387. And I'm going to engage the. Um, the coil set here and send it through the ammeter and we'll see that now there we go switch is flipped it's giving 0 0.08 amps 80 milliamps <clears throat> the voltage is going through now I want to say and this this is the main thing I want to show here is that uh, this thinner wire a little bit higher voltage um, at this current um, goes through this motor better and this is what I'm going to show next but I wanted to show you just the, the result here with it going through the ammeter it speeds the wheel up doesn't go much higher than this. 405, 406. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, 409, sorry. I believe. But, we're sending it through the ammeter. It's speeding up. We did that on our last. But, what we want is to use the electricity not just going through the ammeter right because that's pretty near shorting it out well, I'll show you shorting it out actually I should I haven't in a while and um, we'll have a look how am I going to do this shorting it out will make it go faster I, I'm not prepared to I don't have a clip ready so 409 is what we have just going through the ammeter I'm going to switch it off so the current's not going through. The cap's building up. And so I'm going to switch this over to run the motor. Right there, baby. And I'm going to shorter through. This should slow down to where it was before. It has. I forget what it was before. Anyways, she settled back down. So now I'm going to engage the switch again through the motor. Just give it a little help. Now, the the thinner wire, and this is what I want to show. The the thinner gauge wire gives a higher voltage at a lower current but the current goes through and the voltage goes through this load much better um, at, than the uh, the thicker wire that I showed in the previous demo now the wheels going slower it's speeding up right now it, it'll get up to uh, 100 rpm I believe 
it's going real slow right now. So somewhere near a hundred. But we'll see that this wheel also sped up this time. So with the thinner gate, little thinner gauge wire, this is 22 gauge. I'm able to actually use the current in this load, right? And get the reaction from the wheel. I just wanted to show you guys that. I've, I've been um, leaving things out, not intentionally, you know, forgetting to say things in the vids. I need to start making talking points again. But the, the wheel's going slower, but getting a reaction from the wheel. And these are the things I've been working with and um, getting straight. The core, the wire size, um, how to get it to go through the load. Now again, this is why I want uh, just a little thicker gauge wire now, uh, the 20 gauge. I'm going to continue working and don't think I'm not going to um, before, until I get that wire. But like a 20 gauge wire is going to make this wheel go faster it's still going to give a good voltage and it's going to go through just like this um, but this is just a little too thin just a little bit but working with that wanted to show you this the 22 gauge and I'm going to be continuing to work uh, this afternoon I'm going to fill my uh, slow cooker up with a pork shoulder woohoo I can't wait <laughs> but um probably another video today so maybe a barrage but uh, there you go and um, let's just have one more look got an input here went down we've got almost all the current going through this load right from here and we've had a good effect on the wheel 406 407 So there you go, just another vid and probably more today. I'll talk to you later.